Hi, welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem app 7-3 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, determine the normal force, shear force and movement at point C. Now to solve this problem, first of all, I have to draw all the support reactions and I have to find the resultant of this distributed loading. So the point B is pin supported. So I have one vertical support reaction and one horizontal support reaction. The point A is roller supported. So I have only a vertical support reaction. And let's label them first. Let's call this BX. This is BY. And this right here is AY. Now I have to find the resultant of this distributed loading. So the distributed loading is represented by a rectangle. with the height of 3 kip per fit and has a base of 6 fit. So to find the resultant of this distributed loading, let's call this FR. So I have to find the area of this rectangle. So 3 times 6, which means 18 kip. So this is the resultant force of this distributed loading. And where it would act, it would act halfway of this six foot distance. So let me draw it. It would act in the middle of this distributed loading. So this right here is 18 kip. And since it is acting in the middle of the six foot distributed loading, if I draw a line of action, then this distance is three foot. To find these support reactions, we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So my first equation of equilibrium would be summation of moments at point B equals to zero. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of the BX and BY support reactions are passing through the point B, which is our pivot point, so they will not produce any moment about point B because the BX and BY does not have any momentum with respect to the point B. The AY is trying to rotate this beam in clockwise direction, so the moment produced by this AY will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is 4.5 plus 4.5 fit, which means 9 fit. This 18 kip force is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction, so the moment produced by this 18 kip force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is 4.5 plus 4.5 plus this distance which has to be 3 fit. So 4.5 plus 4.5 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12 equals to 0. So from here, upon simplification, Ay comes out to be 24 kip. For Bx, I can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So I just have a BX only. So BX equals to zero. For BY, I can do summation of forces in Y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So I have AY minus 18 plus BY equals to zero. So AY is 24 minus 18 plus BY equals to zero. So from here, BY comes out to be negative 6 kip. So these are our support reactions. Now we have to find the internal forces at the point C. So if I make a section at the point C, and if I just consider the right hand side of this beam, then, the, then this section of the beam would look something like this. So for point C, I have the vertical support reaction BY and I have the horizontal support reaction BX. Also at the section C, I have a normal force 
and I have a shear force which I am assuming it in a downward direction. Also, I have an internal bending moment which I am considering as clockwise. Let's call this NC. This right here is VC. This is BX, and this right here is BY. Now we have to apply the equations of equilibrium to find these internal forces. So my first equation of equilibrium would be summation of moments at point C equals to zero. I'm considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. So I have this internal bending moment, which is in the clockwise direction. So I would take it as negative. Since the line of action of NC, VC, and if I project this line of action backwards, then they all pass through the point C. And point C is our pivot point. So when the forces or their line of actions pass through a pivot point, those forces cannot produce any moment about that pivot point. So NC, VC, and BX will not produce any moment about point C. Now I have this BY. BY is trying to rotate this section of beam in counterclockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by the BY will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is this section of the beam is basically 4.5 bit. The moment arm is 4.5 equals to 0. So when I substitute the values, the BY is negative 6 kip, so negative m plus negative 6 times 4.5 equals to 0. So upon simplification, m comes out to be negative 27 kip fit. So this is our first answer. And you can see that the answer we are getting is negative. That is because earlier we had assumed internal bending moment to be a clockwise, but in actual it is anti-clockwise. So that is the reason that we are getting a negative answer because of the wrong directions we had assumed. So now for the NC force, the normal force at the section C. I can do summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So bx minus nc equals to zero. So nc is equals to bx and bx we had calculated earlier as zero. So this is our second answer. Now for the vc, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering the up direction as positive. So we have negative VC plus BY equals to zero. So VC is equals to BY and BY we had calculated earlier as negative six. So VC is also negative six skip. So this is our third answer. And also you can see that we are getting a negative answer because Earlier, we had assumed VC to be in a downward direction, but in fact, it is in the upward direction, it is acting in an upward direction. So, because of this wrong direction as assumption, we are getting this negative answer. So, this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. To learn more about R.C. Hibalard, Engineering Statics Chapter 7 Problems, you can check this link that is on the top right corner of this video. And also, I will post the link of a playlist in the description. Thank you.